getting bigger on the jig. Okay guys, Brian Schmidt here, Bassmaster Elite Series Pro. I'm going to talk to you about my favorite technique, swim jigging. Okay, this is a swim jig that I designed with Hayabusa. It's my signature series, Little Schmitty Swim Jig. We have this in three sizes. We have a quarter, three eighths and a half ounce, and we have a bunch of really cool colors. Um, this is just a finesse technique swim jig. This is a lighter line, typically fluorocarbon, 15, 17 pound fluorocarbon. This is a low and slow technique. This is not a normal swim jig that you're gonna throw around buck brush and stuff like that. This is shallow or uh, submerged vegetation, you know, grass, stuff like that. So I, I told you we have multiple sizes, we have multiple colors. I wanna just talk to you guys today about trailer choices and why, okay? What it can do to this jig especially when I'm doing the submerged, you know, getting it down there technique, getting, I fish this swim jig sometimes in eight, 12 foot of water, swimming it. So I control a lot of that by my trailer size, not only my line size, but my trailer size. The thinner, the smaller, the compact the trailer is, the less resistance you have on the water, the deeper it can get. So let's talk with probably my shallowest, you know, this is um, this swim jig, I'm gonna fish maybe one to three foot. I have a Missile Baits D-bomb on the back of this swim jig. I just took the little pinchers off the side. This this color, you know, it's we call it fire crawl. This is a really hot color with the El Diablo uh, D-bomb. Excellent springtime bait, guys. This is a killer, especially around where I live on the Potomac. But the size of this trailer, the bulkiness of this trailer, keeps this jig up in the water column okay even on fluorocarbon line this is not going to get that deep you really have to slow down to get it deeper than three or four foot but shallow and i control that by this by this trailer size okay let's let's switch gears to the mini d chunk <clears throat> This, this trailer is very compact. It has two legs that kick off a lot of vibration, but it's just a finesse twin tail trailer, okay? This, this is something that I'm gonna fish, you know, I could fish this out to probably eight to 10 foot of water easily, um, you know, with the half ounce model especially, uh, multiple, multiple colors not looking for something that makes too much commotion in the water, gets down there deep, kind of sneaks up on them with that trailer right there. Let's go to the total opposite. This is the Chunky D trailer, okay? This this is the Missile Baits Chunky D. This this is the big brother to the last trailer. This, this puts off a ton of action. This is, um, not only your shallower trailer, you know, maybe two to four foot of water, but the noisiest as well. Okay, guys, it's going to put off a lot of action. It's going to draw in a lot of fish. Um, just excellent, excellent choice right there. The, the last trailer I want to talk to you about is the Shockwave. This, we totally changed it up. We went to a swim bay trailer. This has the least resistance in the water at, of all the trailers. Um, I can get this exceptionally deep. This combination right here is the Missile Bait Shockwave in shrapnel color on this swim jig is an absolute killer, guys. This is an excellent bluegill imitator. I get this super, super deep, but if I want, I can keep my tip up. I can keep this, this bait a lot higher in the water column, but remember, going to that twin tail, or excuse me, that single tail trailer, the Shockwave will allow you to get super, super deep, which was the design, the whole thought behind my whole deal is slow and low. I'm finesse fishing this swim jig, guys. I'm, I'm getting a bait down there a little bit deeper, getting it to fish that you normally might not see this exact technique and getting it to the fish at a lot deeper and sneakier presentation. It's won me a lot of money over the years. Uh, this is something you just need to check out. Get yourself some of these jigs, get some of these trailers and, and tie on, just start with 15 pound fluorocarbon. That's been my standard 
15 pound fluorocarbon, not the heaviest rod. I have a swim jig rod design with Fitzgerald fishing for this particular technique, but you, this is something that you're not gonna have to set the hook. Super, super light weed guard. Not too beefy of a hook, but you got a good hook here. You're going to be able to pull them, pull them out of the grass, but super, super light weed guard. This is meant for, you know, these, these lighter bites. You don't have to set the hook real hard. You just kind of lean into them, almost like a jerk bait. Just, just lean into them and start reeling. 